Hello, welcome to another session on problem solving on trigonometry. So the question here says if secant theta is equal to x plus 1 by 4x, prove that secant theta plus tan theta is equal to 2x or 1 by 2x. So this is what you have to do. So it's given that secant theta is equal to x plus 1 by 4x and you have to prove that secant theta plus tan theta is equal to 2x or 1 upon 2x. Now, uh, in such questions, how do we really approach them? So, if you see, the thing to be proved here is secant plus tan. So, the moment there is a combination of secant and tan, one thing, I mean, one thing which strikes our mind is the identity, trigonometric identity, that is secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. So, this is the first thing which comes to our mind. Now, we have to use uh, we have to use this particular trigonometric identity to solve this one it's not necessary that only this identity has to be used to solve the question but since secant and tan is involved so first thing which comes in our mind is secant square minus tan square theta is equal to 1 and second other thing which is given uh, which is also uh, you know uh, giving us a direction is the presence of x the presence of x and then another term which is 1 upon 4x now you, you would have done in you know previous grades where if you square x plus 1 by x uh, whole uh, if you if you do the square of let us say terms like x plus 1 by x whole square then what happens is uh, you know it is very easy to convert this back into x minus 1 by x whole square like that yeah why because squaring you will get x square plus 1 upon x square plus 2 now you can do mathematical manipulation to make it minus 2 so it becomes x square plus 1 by x square minus 2 plus 4 it can be written like that isn't it which is nothing but x minus 1 by x whole square minus 2 square so this item is same as this this is very important thing so whenever we see terms like x and 1 by 4x and or x plus 1 by x and, uh, and, and terms like that then this is again which comes to our mind now using these two only will be solving this question so let us see how so secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 right so tan square theta will be nothing but secant square theta minus 1 and now we deploy the value of secant theta in this expression which is given here so we deploy this value of secant theta which is given here into this equation so you'll get x square plus 1 by 16 x square plus 2 times x into 1 by 4 x minus 1 and this this is nothing but a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus twice a b this is used in this step okay now if you simplify it further you will get this x gets cancelled so you'll get 2 by 1 by 4 so 2 into 1 by 4 is 1 by 2 and then minus 1 so hence this will be after simplification now this is a clear cut indication that is some something which was plus half has become one minus half that means again i can reduce this to x minus 1 by 4x whole square form how so if you see the logical next step is what you can do as one you can write 1 by 2 as 2 times x into 1 by 4x this is purposefully done why because this will lead to the step where now we started from x plus 1 by 4x whole square now we are getting x minus 1 by 4x square this is very important now where did we start from tan square theta isn't it so hence this will be tan theta if you take you know solve this equation which equation tan square theta is equal to this so tan theta will be either plus x minus 1 by 4x or minus x minus 4x why because if you have an expression like y square is equal to c square then y is equal to either plus c or minus c two equations uh, two solutions are there now so there are two possibilities of tan theta now so we have to, we had to find out secant theta plus tan theta this so secant theta already was known which was given in this so you have to now add tan theta which you just found out here so secant theta plus tan theta will be x plus 1 by 4x plus x minus 1 by 4x or if tan theta is minus x minus 4x then this is a solution so if you, if you add the first first set of terms then you'll get 2x and in this case you'll get 1 by 1 by 2x and this is what 
we had to show so either tan theta is 2x or 1 upon 2x yep so we got it so what is the learning learning is uh, keep the identity relevant identity in your mind so secant square theta minus tan square theta was the starting point why because the question was demanding some relation between secant and tan so that that was one thing and secondly this x plus 1 by 4x form was directing us to you know square it and get x minus 1 by 4x a term containing x minus 1 by 4x and this actually helped us to solve this problem keep this in mind thank you